Feel your presence near. 2021, I'm praying for a better year. From Shem and Quay, they love you. My auntie loves you. And E, we all love you. And we don't know what to do. Rest in heaven, E. Awesome poem, reading. Many good things has been said this afternoon about our Chattahoochee Court brother, better known as E. I looks at his friend that came up in Chattahoochee Court said many good things about Brother Emmanuel Tucker. So that lets me know that I don't have many things that I have to say this evening. Because the whole God service have already been preached. But one thing I do want to do this evening, I come just for a few moments, if you may allow me, to encourage the family the children, the brother, and the sister, and as well as Chattahoochee Court. Truly, Brother Emmanuel Thomas is going to be missed down here on this side. But I can promise you for sure, if you live according to God's word, you will see him again. I heard uh, uh, Brother uh, Buck, I think, said that, you know, who am I to say that he didn't get his business fixed? Only thing I pray that he did get his business fixed. But I want to call your attention just for a few moments as I speak to this family. In the book of Psalms, Psalm 121, and it reads, just going to read verse 1 and verse 2. He said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hill for which come my help. Verse 2 said, my help come from the Lord who made heaven and earth. I want to use for a subject just for a few moments as I speak to this family. In a time like this, look to him. The Bible said that weeping may endure for a night, but joy come in the morning time. And I want to let you know that it ain't going to always be like this here. If you got to cry, go ahead on and cry. But you got to look unto the Lord because that's where your help come from. Mm -hmm. When you're weak, God is strong. He will give you joy. He will give you peace in the midst of a storm. And I realize that you feel like that you can't go on without daddy. I realize that you feel like that you can't make it. But I start by this evening to let you know that the Bible said that you can do all things through Christ who strengthened you. And I know how it is to lose a loved one because I have lost my mom and I have lost my dad. And I felt like that I was at a point in life one time I didn't know which way to turn, Robert Thomas. I didn't even know which way to, what to do. But as I began to look to the hills for which come my help, and all of my help come from the Lord. What are you saying, preacher? I'm saying to you, family, all of your help come from the Lord. You got to look to him. Don't look unto man. Don't look unto sister. Don't look unto brother. Because truly, you're going to miss seeing E face down here. Truly, you're going to miss hearing E voice down here. But what I want to leave with you today, why you still got a chance, why the blood is still running warm in your veins. I want to let you know that it's time for you to get your house in order. Because my Bible tells me that no man know the day or the hour. 
But one thing we do know that all of us standing out here this evening, that we got a point in time that we got to get up out of here. Right, right. And my question to you this evening, when that time come when your tongue been thrown to the roof of your mouth, when your eyes been closed never to open again, my question to you, brothers and sisters, where do you want to spend eternity at? Don't let nobody fool you because many people think that when you're dead, you're done. But that's not so. Because there is a such thing called a resurrection. And somebody may say, well, what is the resurrection? And that's where the dead going to rise and they're going to get up and cry. And you're going to have to stand before God one day and be judged. And on the way to make it into the kingdom of God, according to my Bible, the Bible said that we must be saved. Amen. So that let me know, don't think just going to church going to get you into heaven. Because many people go to church and say amen every Sunday morning. Yes, yes, but when they come to die, if they so yes, ain't rooted and grinded in the word of God, well, <laughs> You will hear God say, pardon for me, I never knew you. As I get ready to close now, I heard somebody say one time, I'm getting ready to go now. Says somebody tell me what is a bad way to die. Somebody say a bad way to die is die in a car accident. I looked at him and I said, yeah, that is a bad way to die. <laughs> But somebody else tell, said, tell me this evening what is a bad way to die. Somebody said, a bad way to die is die by the barrel of a gun. I looked at him and I said, that is a bad way to die. I said, but that ain't what the else I want to hear. I said, can somebody else tell me this evening what is a bad way to die. Somebody say a bad way to die is dying a house fire. I said that is a bad way to die. I said, but can't somebody really tell me what is a bad way to die? A old lady got up in the church and she said, preacher, a bad way to die is to die and ain't in Christ. Because if you die and you ain't in Christ, my Bible tell me in hell you will lift up your eyes. That means that while our blood is still running warm, let us get it right. Truly, Brother Emmanuel, better known as E, gonna be missed. But how many of you know every day that your eyes come open and you still got the activity of your limb and you're still in your right mind, God is still giving you another chance Amen. to get it right, to get it right. Because who knows the next time just might be my time. The next time just might be your time. And some of us live like that we're going to be here forever. But you're sadly mistaken. You're not going to be here forever. You're not. So if I was you today, I don't think there's no better place than right here. If I was you today, and if I didn't know the Lord and the pardon of my sin, and if I know that I wasn't saved, I would give my life to him right now. I'm not saying, yeah, I'm a member of a church. I'm quite sure all of us might be a member of a church. But do you have a relationship with him? Do you know him? Do you know him as your Lord and Savior? Do you really know him? That, that's the question I want to leave with you today. Do you really know him? Because Brother Emmanuel Thomas didn't have no idea that on that morning he got up, that was going to be his last day. I done seen people in the best of hell get up and drop dead just like that. But family, Quay, I, I, I remember him all the time when he was coming up, he 
Me and him used to laugh and joke. Hold your head up. Look to the hill. Yeah, you gonna miss that. But when you look up and look to God, he will give you the strength. To his other son, to his daughter, and to all of you, just know that God don't make no mistake. Sometimes we ask the question, why? When we should ask the question, why not? Because we know that this is not our home. We're just pilgrims passing through. So let us make sure that we know the one that went to the cross for your sin and my sin. And he did it that we may have the right to the tree of life. And that tree of life is in the kingdom with him. Look up and know that God got you. And just remember that he loved you. May God bless you and may God keep you in the hands of our family. At this time, the family would like to thank the many friends for every act of kindness shown to them during their hours of bereavement. And to you, the family, we was most grateful for the confidence you expressed in our organization once you called upon us in your time of great need. We sincerely hope that the quality of the service that we was privileged to render has earned and will continue to merit your approval, your friendship, and your goodwill. This is from the staff of Stafford Memorial Chapel Funeral Home. This has concluded these services. You may now return to your family cause. Thank you and may now the benediction will be done. as much as it has pleased Almighty God in his wise providence to take out of this world the soul of our deceased brother. We therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, looking for the general resurrection in the last day and the life of the world to come through our Lord Jesus Christ at whose coming, whose second coming, in glorious majesty to judge the world, the earth and the sea shall give up their dead, and the corruptible body of those who sleep in him shall be changed, and made like unto his own glorious body, according to the mighty workings whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. sometimes we don't know what to say and we just turn to you that is the case today we turn to you who is our strength during this time of death you are the giver of life in the name of Jesus Christ who is the source of eternal life you also understand death so we trust you today father we know our you know our grief give us peace and comfort dry our tears and smooth smooth our This has concluded these services, and they may now return to your family cause. Thank you, and may God continue to bless you as I pray. Thank you.